Hey guys, <clears throat> I'm going to show you a new technique to uh, shuckle Eastern Shore oysters. Are there any oysters that are hard to, um, to open because the shell is very brittle and they break. So typically you would insert a, um, a oyster knife at the rear corner here, such, such like this, and then you would twist. twist like that but unfortunately as you can see the shell breaks most of the time and it's very hard to um, to uh, shuckle Eastern Shore oysters this way now some Eastern Shore oysters have much harder shell and it's a little easier to shuckle but these are very brittle so I'll show you a different technique and what you need is a pair of pliers, like this Leatherman here. I typically <clears throat> break the shell from the side that's closest to you, not on the outside or the front. And what that does is that gives you better leverage in, in um, inserting the knife away from your hand instead of this way, from the front or the side. So you want to insert it this way. So with this player of pliers, I'm gonna get it about right there and then just twist the brake, just to expose. See, this is perfect brake here. There's a little gap there. All right, that's perfect for inserting this oyster knife into it. Now, uh, sometimes it's not that big of a gap and you would need to, you know, get put some force into it. So I recommend to be safe not to hold your oyster and insert it because typically what happens when it's hard and you're pushing it's going to stab you if it slips and that will be a bad thing Look there Ooh. so the safest thing and the reason why I break it on the inside is such that I can hold the oyster down on the ground I mean down on the, um, on the counter this way and the opening is right there. So I just hold it up like this and then I, I will insert it this way so that if I do slip, it's hitting the counter from the front or the back and not my hand. So here we go. So there's opening there. I'm gonna wiggle a little bit, get my knife in, which I have. And so a perfect that's a perfect uh, setup. Okay, now what you're doing is you can hold your oyster in your hand and you want to take your um, oyster knife and twist it towards you. And what that does is it breaks the top part of the half, which is very brittle and easy to pop up. So here we go. That, see? And here, I'm going to twist it. That breaks the top part. And then you can run your knife on top of that to release any muscles as holding that there you go now you run your knife in the back and you want to scrape off the um, oyster from the top of that shell All right and once you you do that it actually releases the shell and you can pop it out just like that and there we have a perfect oyster on a half shell ready to eat <laughs> mm. nice and briny sweet mm. I love Eastern Shore oysters wow very fresh
thanks for watching. I hope you enjoy.